This is the McDonald's of London Road, Edinburgh, and I've been given 24 hours in it with no restrictions, with the one objective, film it. But first, McDonald's is a multinational 34,000 plus restaurant franchise spanning over 110 countries and regions, consistently making perfect, scratch that, iconic food since 1955. Introducing the world's newest, silliest, and hamburger eating clown, Ronald McDonald. Okay, now this is 8768A London Road McDonald's and this is his owner. He's had this place a little over a year and he has a whole bunch of employees. Significantly over half of this restaurant sales come from the drive through but as a whole this place sells about 14,500 burgers, 6,500 fries and over 3,000 hot drinks and combined over 42,600 individual products every single week with all products being freshly prepared daily. If an ingredient is delivered just one degree above or below what the restaurant has specified it is rejected. If it isn't perfect, it isn't so. I also found out that this one restaurant sells an average of 2,000 ice creams per week, which in the summer increases by 100 more per day. Lastly, I would just like to thank Ryan for letting me do this and for letting me make my own custom burger, as well as all the nice people I met and talked to. Thank you. My day started in the stockroom, which essentially consists of three big rooms. A fridge, a freezer, it's really cold in this room, and one room temperature. I was informed that all the products you can see right now will easily be gone in less than four days. From there, the products are made fresh straight from the orders of the self-service machine or the front desk. But since this McDonald's sells most of its products through the drive through it makes most of its orders through the drive through window. I was also informed that the reason McDonald's started implementing self-service machines wasn't to replace staff, but rather give more time to the customer when they're ordering. Although McDonald's can get a bad name, they're actually very strict on their food hygiene. Employees working with food are obligated to wear gloves and wash their hands every 30 minutes. And the menu is actually designed by Michelin star chefs. I also discovered that the kitchen is essentially halved in two, with all the beef products being made on one side, and everything else being made on the other side. I also got to make my own custom burger, and when I got offered a drink, I decided to customise that too. And I thought okay. because the opportunity is never going to come again, uh -huh. that I should just uh, get everything in the one cup. <laughs> so I just got everything. <laughs> I'm not going to go as far as say it's like a family, but after spending a lot of time with the people that worked there, I discovered it was a very friendly environment, and everyone got along really well. Lastly, I would just like to thank Ryan for letting me do this, as well as all the nice people I met and talked to. Mm -hmm.